Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. This is actually going to be Sunday's video game video because I'm going to address something that it's weighed on my heart for a long time. I've tried to think what the best solution for this is. It's YouTube related. And I have come up with what I believe to be a good answer. It's not like a black and white thing where like the Bible says this is wrong so don't do it. It's not that simple. <clears throat> it's a matter of some people have made a decision and we YouTubers have to abide by that decision. Now what I'm referring to is all the classic Nintendo games, Super Nintendo games go on and on and on and on. It actually goes all the way up to the brand new Wii U games. Anything involving Nintendo's franchises, Mario, Zelda, Metroid, etc. And the program they set in place. What's it called? The Nintendo Creators Program where and right, reading directly off their website, the advertisement revenue share is 70% for channels and 60% for videos. This rate may change from time to time. The way I read that, and I could be completely wrong, leave, feel free to leave in the comments. I'm doing it right this time. I'm um, pointing down to the comments. Leave, feel free to leave in the comments and type away um, what this means if you know for sure and can source it. I read 70% for channels, a channel exclusively devoted to Nintendo content that falls under this program. 60% for videos, so for guys like me who just make a video of their stuff from time to time, I would get 60% of the revenue. So that is the majority. It is almost all of it, but it's not all of it. And I have a problem with that. Most major companies nowadays have gone along with a line of thinking that if someone on YouTube or another the, another network of some kind online makes a video including their game footage and I don't mean just like bits and chunks which should fall under fair use even on YouTube that's still debated um, Fupa's made that a lot better so thank you so much Philip DeFranco for helping kick that off that's really awesome of you and thank you to H3H3 Productions who inadvertently kicked off the ball and thank you to whoever sued him because really, you're the MVP here. You're the reason we have that in place because you were being a complete jerk suing for something that should have been in fair use. And I'm not talking about fair use specifically, though. That is a side note. I'm referring to, like, me playing through an entire game. Like, I played through Super Mario Bros. 2 on a previous video. That was copyright claimed. I didn't even bother monetizing it because I knew it would be copyright claimed immediately. And my line of reasoning is Nintendo should fall in line with all the other major companies and they should simply allow their videos to be monetized in full. As long as there is... As long as... Well, no. Not, I, was, I was about to say something that I don't actually think, so I need, let me rephrase it. Not only for people whose video are, or faces, like I play, there's a face cam on all my videos, that's how I like it to be. I feel it's more personal, more intimate. You're hanging out with a friend who's either succeeding triumphantly or sucking miserably at said game. That's how I feel it works. Or if they're just their voice is there and not their face. So the video itself isn't altered, but the background noise is different. You have someone commentating as they play through. And it's a full playthrough. Either way, with, with the face and the voice, or just the voice. But it's a full playthrough. Those are debatably not under fair use because it's the entirety of the video game. I'm also referring to, like, there's, I think the title of the channel is World of Long Plays. And it's literally someone playing from the very beginning of the game, doing everything, even, even letting, like, the demo of the game play so you see everything that's in the game, doing all the extra stuff and whatnot in the middle of the game, and then even showing the ending of the game back to the title screen if the title screen reappears. The full thing. I would personally argue even those should be allowed by Nintendo and all the other gaming companies for the reason that video games, it's not like a book, a movie, or a song where if you play it from beginning to end in the original sequence, you've simply, well, stolen that idea. You've stolen that that song, you've stolen that written work because it hasn't been changed. And I'm not referring to small little things like little tweaks here and there that could get by the copyright rules in regards to those particular mediums. I'm referring to video, video games specifically. My argument would be, and I personally believe, that no two video game playthroughs are alike. Not a single one. Because we're in control of the characters. We say whether they move back 
or forward. I feel like I'm doing it in the wrong direction. Whatever. Um, whether they jump, whether they fire, whether they succeed or fail. Eh. So I'm, do, I'm pretty good at games, I promise. Mario Brothers 2 just kicked my rear end, which is really, really hard. And I haven't played the original in a long... I've, actually, I've never played the original. Um, I've only played Lost Levels. And the physics and the mechanics there were changed. But that's also, again, another tangent. Every playthrough is original. Every playthrough is unique. And that playthrough, by default, partly makes it my, you know, for an example for me, that makes it my video. It doesn't make it my game. It makes it my playthrough of the game. My belief is that certain laws literally need to be rewritten since we now have an internet age where, and also we have video games that didn't exist until like late 70s, early 80s, at least as far as the mainstream stuff goes. Technology's different, inventions are different, times have changed. Laws need to be made to reflect that. Video games are not traditional media. They're new. YouTube is not a traditional media platform. It's a new media platform. And laws should be made in play and put in place to reflect those changes. I should be able to play any game on my YouTube channel, even if all I do is play the game without my voice or without my face. I should be able to play it in full from beginning to end and monetize it and not be able to hear a word from the companies because that is my playthrough. It's not my game, but I'm not putting like my port of your game and putting it on some ROM site somewhere. I'm not distributing your game. I'm distributing my playthrough of the game. That's mine. That would not exist if I didn't play the game. I'm not just showing a movie. And whether if you like that kind of falls into the debate of the reaction channels as far as just pure videos go, not video games. I'll briefly tangent here. Because, like, if someone just plays a movie and, or, a, or a YouTube video and then just reacts to that and really doesn't say much throughout the video and just watches it and then adds a commentary at the end, it's kind of like, should that person be allowed to profit off of it? Or does that not fall within fair use? And I'm, I kind of tend towards thinking reaction channels aren't that great. I have done a few reaction videos myself. Um, so far, I monetized one because I didn't include the original content at all. I simply made my commentary on it. That was on Nicole Arbor's um, Dear Religious People. I simply put in my two cents worth and put out the video. So that's purely my content. It didn't include anything from her at all except for it was a reference to... I, the video was made in response to that video. So that was purely mine. I monetized that, no problem. Now, as well as my reaction video to the uh, My Little Pony Friendship... It, not Friendship is Magic. Well, yeah, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. And it was a fan-made um, seven-minute animation called Lullaby for a Princess. Based on that, I didn't monetize that because I included the video in full with minimal interruptions from me. I didn't feel that I should monetize that because it was that person's intellectual property. Or then again, they probably can't monetize it either because Hasbro tends to be very C and D. That means cease and desist. In other words, you can't grab our stuff and even a, like a free made thing like Lullaby for a Princess and make a profit off of it. So Hasbro may or may not have claimed that video. I have no idea. And that's another, as far as that, what that, what that artist should be able to claim monetarily or not claim. I have my views on that, but that's not the main focus of this video. But it, and all of that to say, I didn't monetize my reaction video because I didn't feel comfortable doing it. I didn't think it was right. If I just taken a snippet here and there to critique on it, that would have fallen within fair use and I could have monetized that. But I played the full video and I didn't feel comfortable monetizing that. But a game, a video game is completely different. That video game, all you would see is the title screen and the demo screen if I didn't play it. That's mine. Again, I'm not distributing the game. I'm distributing my playthrough of the game. I should be able to monetize that in full. The newer companies who have said, you know what, hey, it's free publicity, let them monetize the video in full, and have even paid some YouTubers to play their games, sponsor those videos, that is the way it should work, and Nintendo has not done that. Therefore, I'm not signing up for the Nintendo Creators Program. I won't, you know, I may or may not monetize my videos. My thought is, 
Now, the ones that are explicitly on their list of here are the video games for our program, it's Nintendo specifically, their copyright, like Super, Nintendo, Super Mario Brothers, um, Legend of Zelda, Metroid, like I mentioned earlier. Other games, like the Mega Man series, the Castlevania series, which were made by third-party developers, such as Capcom and Konami, I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll put out a video of those gameplays, complete with, with my face in the corner, my commentary, the full gameplay from beginning to end, including the game's music, including that as well. And like if it doesn't get monetized after a week, I'll monetize it because I should be able to. Even if I didn't have my face cam or any commentary, it's my playthrough. I should be able to monetize that because that was my playthrough. Now, how I can prove it's my playthrough without my voice and face in the camera, that's another subject won't deal with that at that time. And to be completely honest, I haven't thought through that aspect because it doesn't apply to me. Those aren't any of my videos. I won't participate in the program. They can claim all my videos and get all the money off those videos, all two or three cents worth because there's not much there. But yeah, Nintendo, you're wrong. You shouldn't do that. And I'm not going to sign up for the program. Go ahead and claim my video. Legally, you have the right to do it. And legally, you should not have the right to do it. And as the video game company that I grew up with and loved as a child, I am so disappointed. I won't say heartbroken, it's not quite that bad. But I am so disappointed in a company that I loved and whose games I loved. And y'all have taken a horrible, horrible stance on this new world that we have with the internet and with YouTube. Shame on you. Shame on you. This isn't the approach you should have taken. All the other companies got it right, you got it wrong. So go ahead, claim my videos, make some money off of them. Even if I become a big YouTuber and they get millions of views and you get several hundreds of dollars, go for it. You, should be, you shouldn't be doing that. You should be making money on releasing original content of your own, games of your own, titles of your own. And if you want, I'm not distributing your game. Go ahead and sell the game on the virtual console. Fine, you do that. You go for it. But you shouldn't have a right to claim my video and my playthrough of your game because if all I did was show your game, your game would include a title screen and a demo and that would be it. If you want to release a playthrough of your video, feel free to monetize that. You want to show one of your devs or one of your playtesters play that game from beginning to end and Nintendo, you get the sole um, money from that video, fine. It was your employee that made that video and released it probably under your command or at the very least, your permission, go ahead and monetize that. You didn't hire me. I didn't have to play your game. I did it because I love you, and I love the games you made, and how dare you claim my gameplay footage. And that's my video game for Sunday. This is my video game for Sunday, and I'll make sure to, you know, I'll try to make sure I do this right on my phone, since obviously that's where I'm recording it from, and I'll try to make sure that that goes up at a certain scheduled time for Sunday night. So that's my decision on my future videos. I'll play whatever I want. Nintendo can monetize whatever they want. Other companies can monetize stuff if they want. I won't fight the copyright claim. Um, if they make it, the games I know are going to be copyright claimed that are on Nintendo's list, I won't even bother monetizing. If the other games I play, like Konami, Capcom, and other third parties, if they don't get monetized within a week of my release, I'll probably monetize them, as I personally believe I have the right to do. Some laws need to be written, some things need to be changed, and Nintendo, you need to wake up. We're not in the 1980s anymore. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you disliked it or disagree, hit that dislike button. And let me know what you think in the comments below and, why I'm, and below and why I'm wrong. And if you really liked it, share this video. Get it around. I'd love other people to get this message. And especially, I'd love to see other people that agree with me on this particular concept in regards to video game playthroughs. Um, and not only share it, but subscribe to this channel and join the freaks! I love you, and God bless.